Okay, students. Now let us start our second chapter in history. The impact of British rule in India. After understanding the British empowerment in India in our last chapter, how they started to rule the India. and what were their aims and what the policies they adopted and how they captured india for ruling and for financial benefit benefits after expanding their uh, the dynasty after expanding their ruling area now what were the changes and what were the effects of british rule on india we will learn in this chapter administrative and judicial systems the effect on administrative administrative and judicial system that is on civil services and, and judicial system police departments military system and also about the land tax policies we will learn in this chapter about permanent zamindari system mahalwari system and rotwari system and about the modern education system initiated by lord macaulay woods commission in 1854 and the last laws during the british rule regulating law its india law and charter law these all were the sub sub topics we will be covering in this chapter when british east india company established in india first and foremost what they did is they fulfilled their trading requirements their commercial needs commercial needs refers to the all that requirements all the important sources sources which was useful in trade in business after fulfilling the requirements they observed the fractured political landscape of india india where in hundreds of ruling dynasties were competing with each other what do you mean by fractured political landscape fractured political landscape means the condition of the rulers who were ruling in india the condition of indian rulers indian dynasties the relations between indian dynasties the connections the behaviors between indian dynasties and the political powers of indian dynasties when british started ruling around 250 years back in 1750 era the rulers who were present in india had much more controversies much more issues on which they used to fight with each other very certainly very gradually so all these aspects british rulers were observing that these kings are fighting with each other they are not relaxing with each other they are not convenient with each other they have some or other problems with each other so why not to use this aspect so this weakness they started using using this weakness and they started divide and rule divide and rule means already 
and in between the rulers of indians there were many issues on which they used to fight these british rulers what they used to do they used to they used to negatively motivate on them they used to backbite in front of rulers regarding other rulers they used to express false sentences they used to say false they used to say lie in front of rulers with regard to other rulers what to do for what reason to make fighting with each other okay so by this negative activity the rulers of indians indian rulers started fighting and slowly slowly these british rulers started their domination on major land of india okay started the domination on major land of india they slowly started capturing all indian indian land and they and men, and very soon in couple of decades in very 10 to 20 years they captured all over india they had their domination they had their their rule they had their control on all over india by applying adopting many negative ideas many bad roots they started capturing india and they were and they were succeeded and because british now india was completely under british control the india was devoid of one nation concept that means british implemented one nation concept and was scattered into various kingdoms the british integrated the whole of india under their control and that they were under one administrative and political structure education was under their control court was under their control land taxes were under their control import and export business was was under their control the law system was under their control everything they dominated and they started ruling according to their constitution and according to their method and how they started ruling let us see step by step first of all they started administrative service and judicial system first of all they started administration and judicial system in administration when the first step they took was starting civil services okay civil services lord cornwallis introduced the administration of civil services the system of appointing employees for the purpose of trade okay the system of keeping of the people on the job for the purpose of trade was done under the control of east india company because east india company was the center of trade during the uh, uh, british during british era east india company was the center of trade of india so east india company the so appointing the new employers appointing to the appointing new people people on the job was done by east india company okay the company also provided permission permission for private workers to workers to trade by using these opportunities employers made money okay by using these opportunities as they appointed in east india company by using this opportunity the employers started making money by getting corrupted the employers started taking corruption and the employers started the working by illegal means by illegal methods 